One of the first things in the morning is we'll launch our vCenter operations manager and just take a look at the overall health risks and what's going on. And what I normally like to do is take a look at um, all of my hosts in my cluster. And we know there's certain VMs and applications that uh, we need to check for, so I'll go ahead and do that real quick. So this is kind of nice. I have uh, looked at the overall health of this machine. Uh, there's no immediate issues. My CPU cycles are okay. My RAM is okay. And this is the overall world view where I can look at my Houston data center uh, from a very top level view. And I have six clusters and I can actually look at any one of my clusters from a single pane of glass. I can also look at my hosts and it tells me I have one host that's showing uh, some type of an anomaly. So I'm going to click on that and it tells me uh, that it lost network redundancy on, my, on the ports. And it gives me a date, it gives me a time, and an event. And these are critical, so all eyes into the product that we did not have before. Uh, the benefit of vSphere with Operations Manager is that it actually lets me see my data stores. It tells me I have used 12% uh, of my resources. I have 88% remaining. Uh, this really helps us planning from a three to five year period. Anomalies normally will take uh, anywhere from a week to about 30 days to, to, for it to get a full trend of, of what the behavior of the VM is, what the behavior of the actual host is and my, and my data stores. With the uh, risk, if I can, I can click and it tells me uh, how much time do I have, what time of risks, what type of risks I have, and then my capacity remaining on my main uh, VMware environment. So it tells me 63% of my VMs are oversized. 0% is powered down, which means all of them are running at this point. And I have 37% of idle VMs. Uh, these are all great uh, stats to look at. A lot of times, traditionally, uh, the idea is to fire up a VM, give them exactly what they need as far as storage, and never look back and say, hey, are they actually using that type of storage?